Hey, Shalom, Maki Yonis, Yahweh Batazah, coming back with another video. I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. Much love and respect to you brothers out there doing the work in sincerity and truth. Striving for the hopeful elect, enduring all afflictions, and seeking out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Wahal Rakak Badash, Barakatam Akim. All right, I want to go into a video or a lesson uh, regarding this MAGA make america great again um spirit that's out here in the land all right and just uh bring it to a to uh the remembrance of of this account in the book of daniel all right uh showing esau and you other nations you heathens you two-third negro latinos and native american Indians that don't want to believe the writing is on the wall so I wanted to go into Daniel 5 and 1. It says, Belshazzar, the king, made a great feast to a thousand of his lords and drank wine before the thousand. Belshazzar, while he tasted the wine, commanded to bring the golden and silver vessels which his father Nebuchadnezzar had taken out of the temple which was in Jerusalem. That the king and his princes, his wives and his concubines might drink therein. Then they brought the golden vessels that were taken out of the temple of the, of the house of the Most High, which was at Jerusalem. And the king and his princes, his wives and his concubines drank in them. They drank wine and praised the gods of gold and of silver, of brass, of iron, of wood and of stone. All right. So this is the, uh, the predecessor of Nebuchadnezzar uh, after Nebuchadnezzar had passed. To reign in his stead all right and he was a proud individual and he's the one that authorized to have this great feast as, as we read and uh they drank out of the golden vessels the golden and silver vessels that were the house of the most high man okay now i want to just go in here and the outline of biblical usage under that name belshazzar it says bell protect the king it says the king of babylon at the time of its fall he to whom daniel interpreted the writing on the wall okay so he was the last king to reign and um in babylon okay and then soon after came in um the media persian empire okay so as they're feasting and having it and, and having a good time you know enjoying themselves you know like it said in the book of matthew uh chapter 20 um what is it? Matthew chapter 24. When it talks about Noah. Uh, the, the last days is going to be as that time. Where they're going to be eating, drinking, and marrying. Then then, uh, then the flood came in. You know, when they say peace and safety. Sudden destruction shall fall upon them. Now, that's the same thing that these people here in America are doing, man. They're showing that same behavior. Okay, a proud behavior. And the lack of fear of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And the testimony or the prophecies of the scriptures. Which we are out there sounding and trumpeting before the people on the internet and on the highways and the byways. Okay. Now, let me read that one here in Matthew chapter 24, uh, verse. Um, Matthew 24 and verse 37. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Now, Yahweh Bashem was shy. He's the one that authorized uh, kings to be set up and kings to be uh, brought down. OK, it says, for as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. And they knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the son of man be. You see, so the writing was on, right. The writing was on the wall, even in that time, going by the mouth of, of Noah, man, when he was out there prophesying. But they didn't want to believe it. They didn't want to see it. OK, it's the same thing here in, in, in uh, the book of Daniel, chapter five with Belshazzar, you know, eating and drinking, you know, feasting, celebrating. You know, they were in the house of, 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 of feasting rather than the house of, of mourning, you know. But these are the heathens and they're the ones that had the, the Israelites under them, you know, uh, in, in the land of the, their captivity. All right. Under the Babylonians. OK. 
Then it says in verse 5, well, you know what? Matter of fact, let me bring out this one before I go any further just to verify that this is in the book of Job, uh, chapter 20, and how the Most High is going to judge these individuals, these, these heathens, man. All right. It says, This is Job 20 and 18. That which he labored for shall he restore and shall not swallow it down according to his substance shall the restitution be and he shall not rejoice therein because he hath oppressed and hath forsaken the poor because he hath violently taken away an house which he builded not. Surely he shall not feel quietness in his belly. He shall not save of that which he desired. There shall none of his meat be left Therefore shall no man look for his goods. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Every hand on the wicked shall come upon him. When he is about to fill his belly, Yahweh shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain upon him while he is eating. Okay, so we know we, us brothers we use the scripture according to Esau and his new world order, the RFID chip and everything that he's going to um, try to uh, fulfill here in the last days. Well, I'm using this particular scripture to, to uh, um, back me up on what I'm going to say or what I'm trying to convey to you about how here in America they're, they're trying to make America great again you know they think they're either they're they're, uh, they're going to eat to the full you know they're going to uh, be satisfied and their compliment their accompli accomplishments and things of that nature man their achievements but really how about Shemiel is going to stop it as he did here with Belshazzar Okay, he was the last king. He had this proud attitude. He thought he had it all. He was finally in, he was finally in the on the throne, you know. So going over here to verse five, it says, "In the same hour came forth fingers of a man's hand and wrote over against the candlestick upon the pal pa the plaster of the wall of the king's palace, and the king saw the part of the hand that wrote. So a hand appeared out of nowhere." Then the king's countenance was changed and his thoughts troubled him, you see, so that the joints of his loins were loosed and his knees smote one against another. So this man saw a hand that appeared out of nowhere, out of thin air and, 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 and uh, wrote upon the plaster of the wall. OK, and it said his countenance changed man. he went from being proud to to fear of uh, uh, overshadowing his 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 his. his you know his his uh his countenance was it was in great fear, and it said in his thoughts troubled he was in anxious anxiety was rushing through him all forms of emotions, so that the joints of his loins were loose. He probably pissed him he pissed himself, shit it on himself probably, and his knees smote one against another. He was rattling, man. He was stirred up from what he saw. Okay, it is like these people out here. They're about they're about to go through that same. They're about to go through the same. Emotion when they start seeing certain things play out, man. All right, because the writing's already on the wall. Okay, so it says the king, verse seven, the king cried, the king cried out to bring in the astrologers, the Chaldeans, and the soothsayers. Right, and that's what Esau does. It tells you in the book of Isaiah forty-seven. All right, they're forgers of liars. Their physicians are of no profit. They can't heal Babylon. They're not. You can't make uh, America great again, man. America's done. All right, great, a great Babylon is fallen. It's fallen. All right, you can you can summon up demons. You can do whatever you want. You can create technology. You, you, whatever you desire, whatever you want to do, Esau. But you can't make uh, uh, this thing to continue any further. The Most High set the bounds, man. Just like he did with this kingdom, uh, the Babylonians. And he ushered in the new king. A ruling ship was a media Persian empire. Verse 7. And the king spake and said to the wise men of Babylon, Whosoever shall read this writing and show me the interpretation thereof shall be clothed with scarlet and have a chain of gold about his neck and shall be the third ruler in the kingdom. All right. So going down. Um, they summoned, they summoned, uh, Daniel. Okay. 
just to get to the point, um, he, he asks, he asks uh, Daniel to interpret the writing and that he's going to make him, you know, ruler and, and, and endow him with all types of gifts. Uh, so Daniel right here, Daniel 5 and 17. Then Daniel answered and said it before the king, let thy gifts be to thyself and give thy rewards to another. You know, because he wasn't about that. He was about, all right, you know, he was about his father's business, man. You know, he says, yet yeah, I will read the writing of the king and make known to him the interpretation. O thou king, the most high God gave Nebuchadnezzar, thy, king, thy father, a kingdom and majesty and glory and honor. And for the majesty that he gave him, all people, nations and languages trembled and feared before him, whom he would whom he would he slew and would he would have kept alive and whom he would he set up and, and whom he would he put down okay so Nebuchadnezzar had all this power man you know but when his heart was lifted up and his mind hardened in pride he was uh, disposed from his, his kingly throne and they took his glory from him alright the Yahweh um uh, turned him into a, a, a creature, basically, man. You know, and he was driven from the sons of men, and his heart was made like the like beast. You see, his mind frame, and his dwelling was with the wild asses. They fed him with grass like ox, oxen, and his body was wet with the dew of heaven, till he knew that the Most High God ruled in the kingdom of men, and that he appointed over it whomsoever he will. See, and that's what's wrong with these people today. That they, they don't know that the Most High rules the kingdom of men, man. Okay? They're, they're, they're vain. Alright? Truly, all men are, are vain. Uh, 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 how does it say in Wisdom of Solomon? Uh, was it chapter 12? Or 13? Truly, all men are ignorant of the Most High, man. You know, they don't know Yahweh Yahweh Okay, but we're, we're out there on the highways and the bios. We're telling them that their kingdom's going to go down and whether they hear or forbear, but they're going to know it, man. Yahweh Bashim is going to show them that they were nothing but men. They weren't gods. They weren't unstoppable beings or, or beings that had control of their own life, their own destiny. That's how Nebuchadnezzar, he was brought down to the lowest state until he acknowledged who ruled in the kingdom of men. Okay, verse 22, and thou his son, O Belshazzar, has not humbled thine heart, uh, though thou knewest all this, but has lifted up thyself against the Lord of heaven. See, that's what Esau has done. You know, he, he thinks he's going to eat. He thinks he's going to fulfill his new old order. The RFID DJ is going to implant everybody with this. He's going to take take as many people as he can with him. The Most High is going to stop you abruptly, just like he stopped their feasting, man. They were, they, were, they were in the midst of feasting, celebrating, not thinking about nothing but triumphing, you know, uh, continuing from generation to generation, but the Most High suddenly erupted, uh, interrupted them, man. You know, and brought nothing but uh, a fear upon all of them. It says, "And thou, his son, O Belshazzar, has not humbled thine heart, though thou knewest all this." So he knew all these things, just like Esau. He knows all these things, but he ain't, he ain't humbling himself. It's like Pharaoh. He was given warning after warning. You know, but he he felt to to he, he didn't want to humble him, so he kept hardening up his heart. But really, it was Yahweh by Shemuel Shai doing all these things. All right, it says, "But has lifted up thyself against the Lord of Heaven, and they have brought the ve the vessels of his house before thee, and thou and thy lords, thy wives, thy concubines have drunk wine in them, and has praised the gods of silver, gold, brass, iron, wood, and stone, which see not, nor hear, nor know." And the God in whose hand thy breath is, and, and whose are all thy ways, hast thou not glorified? See, and he says, he says, and the God in whose hand thy breath is, and whose are all thy ways, hast thou not glorified? You see, because the Most High controls men. He controls the kingdom of men. He's the one that stirs up the minds of the kings. All right? It says, then... Was the part of the hand sent from him, and his writing was, and this writing was written. Okay, so now I was going into the interpretation. 
It says, and this is the writing that was written. Uh, mani, mani, uh, tekel, uh, you far, you farsin. This is the interpretation of the thing. Mani, God had numbered thy kingdom and finished it. Tekel, thou art weighed in the balances and are found wanting. You know, he's found lacking. Per Perez, or Perez, thy kingdom is divided and given to the Medes and Persians. So he broke it down. So the writing is on the is on the wall uh, to 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 you mad guys, all right? You 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 American, you make you 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 guys out there that say make America great again, all right? The writing's on the wall, and you cannot you cannot uh, turn back what's written, man. You cannot whatever the Most High has prescribed, you cannot take that out, man. All right, it's in the spirit. Then commanded Belshazzar that they clothe Daniel with scarlet and put. Uh, a chain of gold about his neck and made him pro pro uh, and made a proclamation concerning him that he should be the third ruler in the kingdom. And that night was Belshazzar the king of the Chaldean slain, and Darius the Median took the kingdom, being about three score and, and two years old. Okay, so the writing is on the wall, man. They didn't even get to enjoy their feast, just like I read in the book of Job, chapter 20. All right. You're not gonna be able to swallow down, man. You're gonna vomit all. Up. You're gonna vomit it, it up, man. You're gonna be overtaken. You're gonna be destroyed. Okay, so you cannot make America great again. You cannot heal Babylon. It tells you that in the book of uh, Jeremiah chapter fifty-one. Okay, so it says, uh, "Mani, Yahweh had numbered thy kingdom and finished it." So that meaning that he, the time for for uh, the Babylonians ruling, the earth has come to an end. To kill, thou art weighed in the balances and are found wanting, meaning that the Lord has the sins of, of, of Babylon have risen up and now you're found wanting. You have to pay that. You have, you, you're in debt. You haven't paid nothing. You're, you're lacking. Perez, thy kingdom is divided and given to the, the Medes and the Persians. So it's like we read all the time talking about America, a kingdom cannot stand that is divided against itself. All right, it's the same thing. The kingdom is divided and given to the Medes and the Persians, man. There was there was people there's there there was people there in the in Bab in, in in that kingdom, the Babylonians that were divided against themselves as well. And and and, and planning, you know, how to overthrow uh this the uh, Belshazzar, the king of Babylon to have the new rulers to come in and rule so they can have a higher seat, you know? So everything is, is is has been is written for our learning, man. Let's go to the book of Job, chapter fourteen, five says, "Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass." And that's exactly what we're reading. Okay, the same thing has the same thing falls. America falls under that same prophecy, that same example. All right. America's been weighed in the balance. She's found wanting. You know. Uh, the kingdom is divided. We all see that. You know. So it, it, everything is, is set up, man. You cannot you cannot make it great. Babylon the Great is falling. All right. That's what it is. This is Jeremiah 51 and 9. We we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. All right. Forsake her and let us go every one into his own country. For her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. All right. So we cannot heal. You cannot save Babylon, man, a.k.a. America. 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 Is destined to be destroyed. Okay. The triumphing of the wicked is short. Alright. There's nothing you can. You can do it. There's nothing you can do about it man. Alright. To all you. You mag. You magus. Whatever you want to call yourselves. You. You. You Edomites. You two third. Negro Latinos. And Native American, American Indians. Have fallen that same. Stupidity. Okay. Make America great again. It's not going to happen man. It's prophesied in the scriptures. Yahweh Bashmiah was shy. He said it. All right. 
It's not something we're making up on our own, man. This is Revelation 18 and 1. And after these things, I saw another angel. See, it's not man. It's an angel. It's the spirits. All right. It's the watchers. Ultimately, it's Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Come down from heaven having great power and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen and has become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit in the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. You see? So it is nothing that we said. It's everything that's it's, it's a prophecy, man. It's a prophecy. Okay? That's why the Lord says that he threatens. He's the one that's saying all these things. You know? So America will not be made great again. So with that.